We are here to sign a memorandum of understanding about a, a test project that we will start and it will run uh, up till 2020. We will start a big fleet test 2017 with 100 cars testing autonomous drive. These cars will be driven on typical roads that a lot of people use for daily commuting. When people enter one of these roads, they can activate the system, the car will take over all of the driving and it will allow for the drivers to do something else instead of driving. DriveMe is really a unique project. It's unique because it's a cooperation between a car manufacturer, Volvo, and the government. Because not only you need to solve the more legislative questions, but also because we can make traffic as a whole safer, smoother, less polluted, but also try to build infrastructure in a quite different way. The vehicles in the Drive Me project, they use a combination of radar, camera and laser technology in order to do automatic steering, braking and accelerating. So as a driver you don't have to supervise the system, the car will drive completely automatically. I mean it's very uh, like an autopilot in an aircraft. It will be offers a safer drive but also comfort. Sweden has, since a number of years, a vision, or today more of a target, which means no fatalities, no serious injuries as a result of crashes in the road transport system. Uh, the memorandum of understanding we've signed today is about a, a joint effort to move forward that kind of vision and, and target. This project is very unique and the expectations from the Swedish government is still to be in the lead when it comes to road safety. We know that uh, livability, environment issues and also road safety is so close together in this project. I foresee a future where you can drive if you want to drive yourself, but if you think this piece of driving is boring, then you can leave the driving over to the car but it's always up for the individual driver to make a choice.